Cisco S1 Security Policy offers us native built-in S1 security features such as zone-based firewall, intrusion prevention system, UI filtering, anti-malware protection, DNS security, and also TLS SSL decryption to be implemented directly in one edge routers. In the previous section, we learned how to bring and use non sd one security devices to secure sd one traffic through service chaining. However, a simpler design is to use native sd one security features built in into one edge routers. In one edge routers, we have almost all security features that are required to secure sd one traffic. They are added in vManage through a security application image file and it requires advantage license. To start configuring, first we have to upload security application image through software repository, software repository, software image or virtual image at virtual image for example vManage. And then sec app UCMK9 version 16, 12, and then upload. I'm not going to test a, a specific security scenario to show Cisco SD1 security features since security concepts are independent of SD1 infrastructure. I just want to show how they are implemented in a Cisco SD1 environment. Security. First of all, we need to make the list that we will likely need to refer to them in security rules. As an example, I will create a zone list and a data prefix list that are mostly needed to configure rules. Zoning is required to implement zone-based firewall. For example, VPN 10 underline zone, VPN 10 in VPN 10 underline zone, and VPN 11, VPN 11, and data prefix For example, net underline 172 underline 11 for same prefix and net underline 172 underline 16 for the same prefix which is in VPN 10. 172 11 is for VPN 11 and 172 16 is for VPN 10. In configuration, security, and then add security policy, and then custom. We have many security features, firewall, intrusion prevention, URL filtering, advanced malware protection, DNS security, TLS SSL decryption. Zone-based firewall is certainly the most important security feature which is used in Cisco SD1 infrastructure. However, we have already implemented access lists in Cisco SD1 environment, but Zoom based firewall is very different since it is a stateful and we don't have to inspect both direction. As I've said earlier, for Zoom based firewall, zoning is required. Firewall rules are applied in zone pair. Create new. This is a zone pair between a source zone and destination zone. I will not discuss the details of zoning and zone pair in Cisco SD1 training. Just as an example, I will add a rule in this section. The default action drop and then add rule. For example, source data prefix from VPN 10. Destination data prefix, 
VPN 11, 172, 11, and then save and protocol, for example, protocol 6 or TCP, and destination port, for example, Telnet 23, action must be, it can be inspect, pass, and drop, inspect means a stateful inspection passes a stateless inspection. For example, inspect and then save. We have to choose a zone pair, source zone, for example, VPN 10, and destination zone, VPN 11. We can inspect the traffic between subnet in the same zone, but here I'm going to inspect traffic between different zone and then save and a name must be choose for example zone underline base underline fw zone base firewall and then save firewall policy next ips is designed to detect and prevent intrusions into the network create new we don't have many options to fine tune the IPS rules and signatures. We can only define how aggressively our IPS should be implemented. The default option is balance. We also have the option connectivity and security connectivity, which is less aggressive in terms of security and security, which is more aggressive and balance is in between. We also have the option to configure whether potential intrusions only be detected and logged or be prevented. For example, protected since there is always a false positive probability. We also need to configure which VPNs need to be affected by each IPS rules. For example, VPN 10 and 11. But I don't save it. And then next, URL filtering. With URL filtering, you can permit or block, permit or blocked based on web category. These are different category. Default in Cisco S1 security feature or web reputation. High risk, suspicious, moderate, low risk, or trustworthy. Also, we can control based on blacklist or whitelist that we may already configure in the list and cancel. Also, there are some other security features like anti malware protection and then DNS security and also TLS SSL decryption, which can be implemented in Cisco sd infrastructure. And then we have to choose a name for our policies and apply it to a device or group of devices through device template. For example, CH1 security underline policy. And so, and then save and then in template in device ch1 device template for example edit and in additional template section and in here we have the option of security policy ch1 security policy and then update